Viewer asked if I knew how to install Thani 4.01 into Linux. So I wrote them a set of steps that would enable them to accomplish this task. I also checked into the Ubuntu repository and found that the repository's version of Thani was only 3.3. So I decided to make this video on how to install a more up-to-date version of Thani into Ubuntu. So first I need to open up a terminal. I'm going to right click on the desktop, anywhere in the desktop, and then open in terminal, and then I'm going to go sudo apt cache show Thani. Of course it asks for my password and gives me a lot of information there. So the first thing I notice right well, let me go all the way down here. Okay, there's sudo app cache show Thani. So the first thing I notice it says version 3.3. .3, and I want version 4.01, so I guess this is not going to work. So then I keep looking down here and I see homepage https thani.org. I have a little uh, link here, it seems, so I go right click, open link. And thani.org, https thani.org opens. And right here it says Thani IDE for beginners, download version 4.0.1 for Linux. So I hover over here this Linux, and then I notice I see installer, and then I've got a bash script here. I'm going to copy that bash script. First, I need to highlight it. Now I have a little problem with using the mouse to copy it, so I'm going to use Control C. So once I've got it highlighted, Control C seems to work best for me. Control C. And I'm going to minimize this. Now here I'm going to right click and paste. I used Control V, but that didn't seem to work. I'm not exactly sure what's involved there. So I run this bash script and it says get HTPPS Thani org installer for Linux. So it's just going to get an installer for Linux and run it. So I just hit enter. It gives me some directions. This script will download and install Thani for Linux 32 or 64 bit PC. Press enter to continue or control C to cancel. I'm going to press enter. It's going to take a minute or two to get everything down, loaded, and installed. And I do believe it installs into your local directory. And I'm watching a lot of Python 3.10, so I guess it installs Python 3.10 into your local directory. And yes, I do know, and you probably know it too, that Ubuntu 22.04 comes with Python 3.10 also. So you're going to have two versions of Python 3.10. So it says press enter to exit the installer. So it says installation was successful. You can start Thani from the start menu under education or programming or by calling yada yada yada. Or for uninstalling Thani, call home mic app. So it's installed in the local directory under apps. So next thing I need to do is go down here to the Show Applications, open that up. Type in Thani, T-H-O-N-N-Y. There it is. Uh, right click on it. Add to Favorites. And then I come back over here where it says TH for Thani. And let's start it. And there's the language, English. You may have a set of other languages you may want to use. Initial settings, standard. I'm just going to leave it standard. And you notice right here also says Raspberry Pi. And let's go. So it opens up, and so I'm going to write my first program in Thani. str equal Thani world. And basically I'm going to write a hello world program. And print open parentheses, F string, quotation marks, hello, space, and then I'm going to put the str, closing 
quotation marks, and closing parentheses. And let's ignore this stuff over here. That thing just keeps popping up. And then run current strip F5. And there it goes. And that's all there is to install Thani 4.01 into Ubuntu 22.04. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.